This is Short Hammer. It is the 23rd of November, 2019, and we are looking at Amazon. Now, this is on the daily chart. Now, what's interesting about Amazon is if you remember the previous videos on Amazon, I mentioned that there are two channels that I'm keeping an eye on on Amazon. It is the 1747-ish area, the upper 1747s, or upper 1740s, I should say, up to the 1833-ish area. And we've bounced around in that area for quite some time. When we drop below that area, we're in the lower channel, which is 1745-ish, down to 1705 is roughly the area that we've remained in. What I'm watching for going forward on Amazon is retail sort of been a mixed bag with some retailers beating and some retailers missing. And cloud has been under serious pressure. So if I'm looking at Amazon with Black Friday coming up, is there a potential for them to break all time numbers? Yes. Is there a potential that they may not? Yes. So it can go either way. What I'm going to be watching are these levels. So right here, we have a line at 1756. This is my quote unquote line of demarcation. Above that line, I think we're more bullish. Below that line, I feel we're more bearish. But not just a pierce of the line, a close above the line and bullish candle formations gives us room through the 1762s up into the 1768s and potentially up here into the 1792s, 1798s, and 1805s. If we are below this line and we reject, we have room down to 1747, below that 1728, 1721, and potentially down to the 1705, maybe this lower supply demand zone here of the 1671 by 1680s. So Amazon usually tends to matriculate between these supply demand zones. And right now I have these intermediate supply demand lines. These pink lines are semi-permanent. And these other lines, the green ones and the, the red ones, these different color lines are more temporary lines that can change over time because there are not as many interactions. So that may not be as strong of a supply demand line as these pink ones that have been revisited multiple times. So watching Amazon, I'll be watching to see if <clears throat> we get below this downtrend and close below this downtrend. And this, <clears throat> excuse me, and this downtrend is from prior to the earnings in July. So we've remained below this primarily. We broke here on, it's like the end of October. We pushed up, but we couldn't catch a bid. And this reddish line here is a channel that Amazon broke that extends all the way back to 2015, maybe a little bit earlier actually. So each time Amazon has interacted with the this channel, whether it's the top of the channel or the when it almost hit the bottom of the channel, the buyers have stepped in and given a separation from this point. We've had separation, 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 separation. And then here, we're not getting that same separation to the upside. That's why I've been slightly bearish on Amazon. Interactions here have created the separation. And even when we've pierced, we've dropped with with extreme velocity and then there's just been a bounce and a reversal to the upside. We're not seeing that separation. What we're seeing is lack of buying pressure, lack of you know, uh, belief that we're going to run and that we can, like for me, the way I see this is when we're at an area and it won't separate, that means people, the buyers don't believe they can sell it to another another buyer in a short enough time period that fits their investment strategy. Now, can Amazon be at 2000 by, by March or by uh, February? Yeah, it's possible. Next earnings, they could be amazing. But we have to see. They have a lot of investments going, but I'll be watching Amazon next week to see if 
do we clear the 1747, get over the 1756 with bullish candle formations? One, if we stay below, can we stay below the low, the, the upper 1740s? And if we are, then our range is down through the 1728s all the way potentially to 1705. We have to see. Right now, we're above this downtrend line, and we have to see if we remain above that because then that may mean that there's not enough selling pressure to drive us below that. But I'm watching these levels because we can sort of float down here or the buyers can step in and push us over 1756. So I'll be watching this next week and I'll do a few videos um, to give the current levels as we move just to see where the next stop may be. But Amazon is one of the most technically sound stocks that I trade and I love the movements. So hopefully these levels can help you find your own, strat your own strategy within this and levels that you like and trades that you'd like to take. Um, for the people that, that sell, <laughs> sell premium, if they use some of, these, um, some of these wider zones and sell in between, it's been money. And if you're looking back all the way to, let's say, um, August, and you stayed between these these zones and you had the outer edges as your um as your your endpoints worked out pretty well. So uh we'll see. And watch the 1756. That's the primary uh area I'd watch to see if we get over that. If we don't get over that, then we're not going anywhere. <laughs>